So I just got to my Airbnb. It looks nice. Look at this. I wish finding an apartment was this easy. God. Okay, good start. Didn't have any trouble getting here. And I bought... Oh, I need to take... I bought this for dinner. But I feel like I'm going to be hungry. So I better get something more to eat. And emancipation of nobody. Nobody come out. Oh my god. Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, come out. Ah. There you go. That's your spot. Sir, put on your clothes, please. Thank you. Stay here. And look at this kitchen. Oh my god. If this was actually my kitchen, I would freak. Okay, how do I open this? Do I do this? Okay, I can't even open the door though. <laughs> and I never had a dishwasher. Ever. He just opened it a few seconds ago. How, how am I not? The Airbnb host had like a two or three year old daughter and she was so cute. She put on that light for us. She was so cute, but she bumped her head here and started crying. Poor thing. And this is Vong, uh, right outside Paris. So that is the 15th arrondissement. And here apparently is the Metro Pizzeria and Cafu. Uh, I need to go shop for oats. I mean, oat milk. It's going to get late. I better hurry up. Finally, something to eat. So hungry. Oy. It was a long flight, 14 hours. Now open the doors to complete darkness. This is the hour that I need to be leaving to get to my shift. It's 5.48 right now. So that's basically how my week went and uh, I was pretty busy all throughout the week so I wanted to do something interesting for the weekend and since I'm a complete foodie I decided why not go around the city to look for the best croissants and the best lingeries in town. The first place, Maison Devna. I wouldn't say it's that good. I think it's been outside a little bit too long. It is crispy, but it's, I don't know, it's not tender. The second blangerie I visited is called Beau and Me, and I saw this place on TikTok. Apparently it's one of the biggest blangeries in Paris, and it seems like the most hip of all the ones that I've seen. It seems a little bit stale, for lack of a better term. I see here, it also looks a little bit stale. Let's give it a try.
Well, that was a disappointment. Considering how big the place is, I thought that it would be better, but apparently not. Maybe I should try visiting a different location. Anyway, now off to our second recommendation. It's called The French Bastard, and I hope it's as aggressively good as its name. This one's definitely got a thicker, crunchier crust. The crust is more prominent. It tastes more of butter. It feels like they put more into it. But it's a denser sort of croissant. I would expect it to be a little bit more airy, generally. I was scouting around the neighborhood. The TikTok recommendations had let me down. And I come to find a place a tiny little place, probably a uh, neighborhood favorite, that had a very good review, so I wanted to try it out. Uh, uh, <laughs> trying like five or six different croissants and found chocolate today. One bite each and still quite a lot. Okay. By far, it feels like the softest and freshest one. Go away. No, no crumbs for you. Okay, let's try it out. Very airy, very flaky. Hey, dude, go away. Mmm. This is the one. This is the one. Yes. That is the So my lunch was five different bites of different types of puzzle and a cup soup. taste test. Don't mind my hair and my everything. Just got out of school, which means I got a pan au chocolat and a croissant from my school. And my school is very well known for its pastries. So let's look at that. Look at it. Oh. And you can hear the little. Right? I'll give it a try. Mm. Baked fresh this morning. And the good thing is, compared to all the other croissants that I tried, the crust isn't too thick. So it's really tender and really crispy. And it gives, when you eat it, it gives to your bites, which I like. If it's a little bit too firm, then no, it doesn't feel like a croissant. It feels more like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think right now, I'm so hungry. Now, this is 
the pan au chocolat. It was much higher in the beginning, but I brought it in my bag, so it crushed a little bit. Look at that. A great combination of airy, crispy, buttery. Oh, it's so good. To be honest, of all the pan uh, chocolate and croissants that I've tried, at least the ones that I've tried, there's a few more that I need to get to. I only was able to go to the ones in the 10th and the 5th arrondissement, and there's so many blancheries in, in Paris. These are by far the best, and you can buy it at the cafe, so I recommend you go. It's in the 15th arrondissement. Mm. Anyway, bye guys! Thank you.